This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See, I'm thinking, see, man, lost that data, but I'm going to tell you every day. The data released us is false. I mean, it gives a false narrative to markets if we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, everyone knows I got a law degree. I'm a retired officer. And I'm a licensed private investigator. And my, my BS was in criminal justice. So I am totally familiar with criminals and cons and how they work. But I did not see this AMC long con. And here's the definition of a long con. And you tell me if you guys think this is AMC. An elaborate confidence game that develops in several stages over an extended period of time, wherein the con, the con man or swindler gains a victim's trust. I don't know, maybe by going to theaters to theaters, telling them that they should vote yes. Often by bypassing small profits with the goal of reaping a much larger payout in the final maneuver. Okay, maybe like a 10 to 1 reverse split. I believe that AMC was a long con game. That is my opinion. And, I mean, there's nothing nobody could tell me that's going to change my mind on that. I mean, let's look at what an elaborate con is. An elaborate con is. It develops over time. They've been running this for 30 months. And then... They gained our confidence by talking about they ride with us. They're ready to pounce. When the whole time they could control the price at any time. Ten months ago, Adam Aaron knew that the final price would be $3. $1.50 on the AMC side, $1.50 on the Ape side. Because he knew that they would manipulate the price down from to 150 and 150 they have total control of the stock and they just let it run so they could reel more 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 victims more marks so they could reel more of us in they let it run a little you know let us gain small profits making us think that eventually it would do what it's supposed to do what the numbers told us it was going to do but they knew that the SEC, the DOJ, the CFTC, the DTCC, FINRA would do absolutely nothing. They knew there would be no law enforcement stepping in to, to enforce the laws. So they knew they could do what they want. So they ran this long con Ponzi scheme on us and everybody made money except for retail investors. And then, as the definition says, with the goal of reaping a much larger payout in the final maneuver. And in the final maneuver, they do a 10 to 1 reverse split, eliminate 90% of the shares that they, that they sold us. So if they sold us 10 billion shares, Nine billion just disappears, and the money they made from those shares just disappears also. They don't even pay taxes on it. They don't even pay taxes on it because it's like the money never existed. It just disappears. But we, we all know the money didn't just disappear because we don't see it in our accounts. We don't see it in our portfolios. Nothing nobody could tell me will change my mind that this was a long con played on retail investors by the shorters and the board of AMC. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that this AMC play was a long con and the final much larger maneuver was the 10 to 1 reverse split? To make 90% of their counterfeit shares disappear 
and yo, like, and burn up all the evidence, and burn up all the evidence. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the AMC play was a long con, and retail investors were the marks? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.